Hello folks. We have a new vehicle on the lot today, which is parked out here. Let's go have a look. And say hello to Big Blue, our year 2000 E39 Touring. Quite a nice car. Um, drives very well and uh, picked her up for very little money recently and uh, we have some um, interesting plans for this particular vehicle. Let's go inside and have a look at some of the parts that have just turned up. So Big Blue is going to be a plug-in hybrid but not just any plug-in hybrid. We have um, quite a few things to do uh, before we start working out how we're going to be hybridizing it. And the first of those, uh, which I'm going to document for you guys as a mini project, is going to be fitting a sequential LPG injection system. There's our tank and what I'm led to believe every single component uh, that I'm going to possibly need. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, break out this box and take some of the wrap off our tank and uh, see what we've got here. Stay with us. Alrighty, so now that we have everything un unboxed, I can give you guys a bit of a better walkthrough. Um, so here on the ground is our donut tank, uh, as we saw earlier, with a number of different types of holes here. So I'll just briefly uh, describe uh, what these will be used for. This hose here is a very kind of a, it's a kind of a silicon, very narrow hose that'll be used for vacuum uh, sensing. Um, so this hose here. Uh, will be used for um, gas gas and let's see what else we have this is basic uh, heater holes uh, to the best of my knowledge uh, oh no sorry I tell a lie this will be used for gas gas as well this is heater hose uh, yeah cooling system hose and finally this stuff here the faro um, Holes will be used for the liquid gas uh, coming from the tank to the reducer. So let's have a quick look then at the other components. So up here then um, we have kind of the brains of the system which is the Stag 300 ECU. Uh, we've, we've got the wiring harness for that ECU. Uh, with the fuel gauge uh, sender and um, uh, wiring loom. We have the reducer. This guy here is what converts the liquid uh, gas that comes in here into gas gas that comes out here. And it uses uh, coolant heat from the engine um, to basically do that. This is our solenoid valve. This guy here goes under the bonnet and basically um, the ECU can then determine when to turn on the supply of liquid gas to the reducer. Um, these guys here are, are our HANA injectors. So these work the very same as injectors on a petrol or a diesel car. That they meter the fuel um that uh, is needed for each cylinder and then we've just got some general hardware we've got the fuel rails um we've got the filler um where we'll be filling the car we've got jubilee clips hose clips i've just kind of divided them up here all kinds of various hardware the mountings for the fuel rails the U usb interface for uh programming the 
uh, the ECU, we've got some tape, we've got the nozzles that actually inject the gas into the, the, the intake manifold, the multivalve that goes into the tank, T-pieces and so on. So this is going to be the first step um, for our hybrid E39 touring project. And um, obviously the first stage in it will be fitting the LPG system. And I will bring you guys along uh, to see some of the highlights of that. Um, as I said in my last few videos there, I won't be going into the huge in-depth uh, that I would have previously. Um, unless people particularly want me to. Um, there, there, there doesn't seem to be any really good DIY videos on YouTube um, for installing LPG systems. Um, so who knows maybe we can um, maybe it would be w worthwhile doing one of the more in-depth ones um, but in any event I hope you guys will enjoy this particular project uh, it's a little bit of a break from uh, what we would normally be, be doing so I'm going to show you guys one more thing and it's kind of one of the reasons um, that I'm going to be going down this particular avenue um, as you know, our digital project, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but there she is, um, will be uh, getting some um, love uh, fairly soon. I've got to, got to finish off the Panzer first. I've got to put a six-speed gearbox into the Panzer, uh, so that's going to be fun. Um, because believe it or not, uh, she has managed to roast second gear in the um, the G Trag um, five series gearbox that I put in there uh, last year. So that's now two uh, gearboxes um, eaten by the combination of the Siemens motor, uh, Johannes Hubner's inverter, and the Panzer. So we're going to, uh, to up that to the uh, ZF uh, 6 speed, so that should be fun. But uh, one more thing to show you, you guys, and I'm um, really, really pleased with this, uh, is that we managed to get some batteries uh, for the uh, drift car. And the batteries that we got for the drift car are kind of ideal for that particular project uh, they are hybrid vehicle batteries so they're extremely high discharge uh, but not very much capacity um, but certainly going to be uh, fun to kind of dump a lot of power in to the um, into the vehicle fast uh, so we'll be having a look at those. Uh, I think I'll have a look at those in a separate video for you guys because I'm already drifting way off topic here. Um, but we'll have a look at those batteries in a separate video now coming up fairly soon. Um, and I'll kind of explain to you uh, how we're going to be making them work and so on. Uh, but they're also, as I say, they're from a hybrid vehicle application. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking um might be uh something nice to do with the e39 e touring and the lp lpg is kind of something that i've and it probably hasn't been evident in the uh content that i've made it's been purely ev stuff that i've put up online for the past seven plus years now um but i'm very much a fan of alternative uh, fuels and uh, I think they can play a very important role in getting us uh, to some cleaner air um, so I am going to be uh, yeah fitting this LPG system and we bring you guys along so thanks for tuning in sorry I went on a bit of a ramble there but I kind of uh, figured it might be um, just to fill you guys in on some of the happenings. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, see you all next time. Stay cool.